Now, I've heard that there are different types of ovarian cancer. Correct. So what different, differentiates each cancer? So it's actually where it um, begins. Okay. okay. There's different types of tumors. The epithelial tumor is the tumor that comes from the actual outer portion of the, mm -hmm. of the ovary. It is the big majority of the ovarian cancers. About 85 to 90 percent of ovarian cancers are epithelial tumors. Um, they're also the most aggressive, unfortunately. Okay. The stromal tumor is actually the connective tissue of the ovary. Um, those are fairly, um, most of them are benign, mm -hmm. and there's not that many of them, about two to three percent of them are stromal tumors. Germ cell tumors are actually what produces the, over, the, the ovum, the egg, um, and those are also far um, less frequent. They tend to happen more in teenage and young, younger women, mm -hmm. um, but the majority of them are benign, and if they're not benign, then they're very treatable with just either removing of that ovary, right. um, and they can you know, keep fertility as well, too, because they're not doing big surgeries on them. But the most common, as you said, the ones you see most frequently. Epithelial. Epithelial. The epithelial, 85 to 90 percent of the ovarian cancers that are diagnosed are epithelial, and they're by far the most aggressive of the three. Wow. We have a graphic here of some risk factors, and we'd love for you to go over them with us, Kristen, and our viewers at home. Some, some we actually have no control over, Correct. unfortunately. Can you explain that? So older age, obviously there's no control over that. We all age. Um, genetic mutations, um, no control over that either. It's your family makeup, it's your family history, it comes from genes from your parents. Um, the estrogen and hormone replacement therapy, we have found that a lot of women do develop ovarian cancer because of the increased hormones. Um, and the age when the menstruation started and ended really is something that also we can't control. Right. Um, so for the big majority of the risk factors, there's really not much we can do to change other than the hormone therapies. Um, for the most part, it's kind of comes with the territory and with us innately. The menstruation one sort of interests me. Why is that? What does it matter when age it starts and ends? So the more ovum you produce, the more risk of ovarian cancer you have. Okay. So if you start younger, and produce more eggs and release more eggs, there is a chance at a higher risk of ovarian cancer.